When I think about tunnel vision, I think about people getting so locked into a goal that they don't stop to ask, is this the right path or even the right goal? Um, and we see this all the time in, in people making career choices, right? Where you get excited about a particular path and then you fall victim to what psychologists call identity foreclosure, where you settle prematurely on a sense of who you are and you basically close your mind to alternative selves. And then you end up having an early midlife crisis saying, oh, I shouldn't have gone, gone to med school or to law school or been an investment banker, right? Or whatever the path was. It's often people who got seduced by status and then didn't really consider whether the job that impressed other people would depress them day to day. I think when we, when we study how to escape tunnel vision, it's about having a different kind of network. Most of us like to lean on a support network, the group of people that encourage us, reassure us, cheerlead for us, and we all need those people, but we also need a challenge network. The group of people who are our most thoughtful critics that we trust to poke holes in our plans and see the flaws in our strategies. Having a good challenge network is, is essentially the opposite of being surrounded by yes men and yes women, who when you come into the office in the morning and you say good morning, they say, great point. Right? We, the challenge network is, is the group of people that you really trust uh, to, to take down your strongest convictions. And what I've been doing lately is I've actually reached out to a bunch of my most thoughtful critics and said, you may not know this, but I consider you a founding member of my challenge network. I haven't always taken your feedback well. Sometimes I've been defensive. Other times I've, you know, I've just dismissed it because I'm on a path and this seemed like a distraction. But I've always valued your perspective and your input. And if you ever hesitate to speak up because you're worried about damaging the relationship or hurting my feelings, don't. The only way you could hurt my feelings is by not telling me the truth.